Mike, go ahead. Hey, good morning, Obi. How you doing? Good morning. How y'all doing? Good, thank you. Uh, we've been seeing that you've been switching off with Mo Osling, uh, you know, on and off uh, throughout camp. Uh, what, what's that like, you know, going up against him, trying to battle for that one spot? Is it a bit like iron sharpening iron? Yeah, I'd say uh, the best thing about our cornerback room is everything is competitive, not combative. Um, and so, I mean, competition always makes everything better. It makes me a better corner. It makes him a better corner. It makes the other corners around us better. So competition has always been a good thing. And it's nothing new. We, we've done rotational stuff uh, during the season um, and basically since we've been here. So uh, nothing new. And yeah, iron sharpens iron for sure. You know, the defense had uh, took a step up last season. You know, are, uh, do you see that continuing this season? You know, wh what are you seeing from the defense uh, in spring? Yeah, I think uh, for one thing, this is our uh, first time with Coach Norwood. Um, and granted, it was a, it was a COVID year. So we kind of had to uh, pick things up on the fly, whether it was the playbook, getting used to him, um, that system. And I was new altogether. So I had to get used to him, Coach Az, and the rest of the guys. So I think uh, with the second year under our belts with, uh, with the new system, I think we're all getting well acquainted with the playbook and how um, we want the structure of our defense to be. And uh, it's been going up from here. Spring ball has been very energetic, competitive. The defense has been flying around, playing together very well, communicating. Um, so we're just building off kind of like where we left off. We, uh, I think we improved greatly from um, the last season of uh, defense that they played to uh, the 2020 season. And we're just going to continue to build off of that. Cool. Thank you. Of course. James, go ahead. Hey, Obi, how are you doing? I'm doing well, James. How are you doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Doing good, doing good. Um, uh, who are some of the younger guys that maybe have stood out? Can you, okay. Who are some of the younger guys that have stood out to you so far? Um, anyone in particular that's kind of caught your eye? On defense or offense? On defense, sorry. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Devin Kirkwood has been doing a good job stepping in as a early in the role. -y. Um, you know, a young guy doesn't know much about the playbook, but is going around, flying around, making plays, um, catching everybody's eye. He had to pick six the other day, um, and I think uh, uh, Quentin is doing a good job as well on the D line. Um, and then who else is in there? Yeah, those are a couple guys that have been standing out to me. But yeah, Devin, definitely because I see him every day and we've been working and he sits next to me in my locker, so I'm always talking to him. Um, and uh, he's doing a good job. Tony, go ahead. Hey, Obi. Hey, since you're having to face off against these guys every day in practice, give us your assessment of the quarterbacks and how they're looking. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Dorian... Um, you know, building off of last year, I think he's doing a good job of uh, keeping the ball uh, with the offense. He's not turning the ball over as much, or at least he's making it a point of emphasis to to keep the ball on their side. Um, I think he's very confident um, in his ability, as he should, and uh, he's making some good plays out of the pocket, scrambling around, fitting it into tight windows. So he's making some throws that uh, that. I know he's uh, has the potential to make, and he's doing it. Like the his talent level is off the charts. So if he just matches that to his play, then I mean, there's no telling what we can do. I think uh, I think Ethan Garbers has come along and, and has done a really good job too. Um, the guy coming in from Washington, um, you know, he he has a he has a pretty good arm, and he's he's been slinging it around, kind of like a kind of like a gunslinger. It kind of reminds me of how how KJ was uh, when I was at Stanford. Um, so a young KJ. So uh, he, he reminds me a lot of him and he's doing a good job too. He's, he's fit the ball into some tight windows and he has a really pretty uh, pretty deep ball. He has some nice touch on the deep ball too. So he's been doing a good job. And, you know, Chase Griffin, CG is a gamer, man. So they're all doing a really good job and competing and um, improving the quarterback room greatly. Sam. Hey, Obi, how you doing? I'm doing well, Sam. How you doing? Good. So uh, 
you you came here last year as a transfer, but you you, you guys keep adding transfers on, on both sides of the ball. Do you kind of take on that role, or do you or, or any of the other transfers who came with you last year take on that role, kind of welcoming them welcoming them into the team, just kind of the way that guys did for you last year at all? Yeah, I think uh, I think just to be able to speak on our experience uh, at first hand, and you know some of those guys are moving into the same places that we are. Um, I think it just makes it easier for them. It's an easier transition when they have guys that have done it before. Uh, I room with Britain. So, I mean, they kind of they kind of help that flow naturally. You know, I think a lot of guys that transfer in kind of like stick around together um, as far as like rooming goes and stuff. So I think they do a good job of like bringing us together so that it's like we can get acclimated together first and then we kind of go to the team. But yeah, there, there are a bunch of transfer guys coming in and I think it helps um, to have guys that have experience. And I think it's like a, a good model that they're like going with now. So, uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to have guys come in. Zach Charbonnet has done a really good job, big physical guy running around. Um, I'm trying to think who else came in. Yeah. All the guys, I mean, even back to Paul, Q Knight, myself, Britain, all the guys that have transferred in have come in and helped the leadership of the team and have tur turned a team that was, you know, some some people would say uh, a little immature to uh, quite a veteran team now. So I think it's uh, I think it's all been a good thing. Cool. And then uh, I guess today was your your guys like spring practice showcase thing. Did you notice any difference today when you were out there, like alumni or donors or anyone walking around, any more or less attention or anything? You know, uh, there are a few cameras out there, man. But I think <laughs> you know. Uh, we're used to that and we're just coming out here to play man that's it we're uh, we're here to come out here and get better compete um whether there are cameras out here or not so you know there are a few people out there but you know i think everybody was mostly focused on just uh competing and getting better the defense did a really good job today i think q q uh q lake was mic'd up though he had a little bit of fun with that nice uh, thanks man of course all right we got any other questions for obi Perfect. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks for your time, Obi. Thank you guys so much. We've got Jay Shaw walking over right now. All right, everybody, we're joined by Jay Shaw now. If you have any, go ahead and hit that raise hand button and I'll call on you. We'll start with Mike. Hey, Jay, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing good. What's yourself? Good, thank you. Um, <clears throat> it looks like the offense and, and the defense have both been going at each other pretty good uh, in spring. Uh, you know, what are you seeing from the offense, you know, running backs, wide receivers that are giving you guys the most trouble? Uh, I would just say more so a will to win. More just like, just knowing, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like people just got a bad, people got a bad taste of just coming up short. It's more so like, you don't want to, you don't want to be there again. And people starting to realize like, we just, if we just collectively, if we want to be the best and we collectively have that mentality, then we all bring it together. And we all going to compete. We all going to bring the best out of each other. Who's standing out to you on the offense? Uh, I'm probably standing out. I know we got Zach, 24, running back. He's doing a little. Oh, Zach, 24. He's doing a little something. Uh, but just more so, I just say, in my opinion, I just like I think it's the whole offense all together. Just the way, just the way our operation is ran. It's not like 
there's no focal point with our offense. So it's just a, it's just a one, it's just a machine. So once the machine collectively moving and it don't really matter who it is, I can't, I can't even tell. Like if it's just somebody scoring and then somebody else scoring, somebody else scoring. So it just, it looks beautiful all the way around. Thank you. Tony, go ahead. Hey, Jay. This is the most veteran defense UCLA has had in a lot of years with all the returning players. Who's showing the leadership out there? Who's, who's, who's the guy or the guys out there that are taking over the leadership roles for the defense? Mm, I just say, because what we're trying to do, we, we're trying to be a uh, – we're trying to be a, a player-led team, so I just say it's not really one. It's not one guy specific. It kind of it kind of bounce around, you know. Like some days, some days just in life, the the quote unquote leaders is going. The leaders is going to need somebody. Excuse me, I got a punch up. All the fun. My fault. But the leaders, uh, it's just a collective thing. It's just bouncing around. Like one day, one day maybe say maybe Q Knight or one day maybe Q Lake. One day maybe Mitchell, it may be Miles, it may be anybody, even the even the young guys is step is uh stepping up. We're really trying to come into that point to where there's no such thing as a as a leader. We all lead, we all lead by each other. We we're one, we all move on one accord. Now the the defensive secondary, you guys have a lot of depth there. Um, and so are you guys feeding kind of feeding off each other, or is it a real competition? for snaps on the field right now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's no competition because you gotta you gotta love your brother's success. So whenever I see whenever I see one of my dudes or, or one of my guys see me succeed and it's not, how could you how could you be like, oh dang, he's doing good? Like that doesn't really make sense, you know? So it's beautiful, it's beautiful to see us. It's a it's a beautiful, I'll say it's a beautiful competitive, it's a beautiful uh competitiveness. Because it just br- it bring out the best of us, but it, it also it also lets you smile because you know these my these some some of these dudes I've been with here for like four five years now. All right, great, thanks, Jay. Hey, Jay, how you doing? How you doing? Good. So uh, you guys have been getting hyped whenever you guys are forcing turnovers these past few weeks, but. I just want to ask about that. Uh, I think it was uh, Shay who forced that fumble. Uh, what What about that? Like you guys all got pretty hyped, so it swarmed around him a bit. I guess that play specifically. What was that like? And then just in general, what's it like having that kind of energy when you make those big plays as a defense? That play is specific. If you know Shay, is just a beautiful play, man. It's just a beautiful play. So just when we see when we see Shay do that, it's just amazing. But just when it just went on a on a on a bigger aspect, just turnovers is beautiful. Like we get in, I know right now we competing against our offense, but if it were a game, we giving our we giving our uh, our brothers on the other side of the ball an extra chance to compete, an extra chance to put some three three or seven on the board. So it's always beautiful. We always going we always gonna have to have that energy. And then. Uh... Oh, we was talking about him, and he was he was getting a lot of reps today. But you, uh, what what have you seen out of Kirkwood so far? Uh, pretty early on his his UCLA career, I guess. But has, has he kind of impressed you as a young guy so far? Uh, me and Kirkwood, we we know we know some uh some uh similar similar people in which we work with. So just seeing him coming in here is real beautiful to see how his technique. I, I believe his technique is. He came in. He's really, he's really technic, technically, uh, technically sound more, more so than, than I know. When I was a freshman, there were some things like I couldn't do, and I'm just looking at Kirk. What I be, I'm looking at him like, oh, you know what I like? I like how you doing that. Like, I didn't even know you was capable of that. So it's, it's beautiful just seeing all the, all his hard work from high school coming now. Is, it's nice to see a smooth transition early on. You know. And then uh, just last question. Today was your your guys' spring showcase or whatever it was. A few more extra cameras out there. Oh. Uh, I heard Q Lake was was mic'd up. Uh, how was that? Did you notice it at all? Was it different? Was it fun? What was that like? Oh, if somebody mic'd up, you for sure go no. You for sure go no. <laughs> but but uh, 
I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it was different. Like, like just knowing he got it, we may be a little more goofy, just a little more goofy. But other than that, we still it just gets to that point to where you even forget he mic'd up, and next thing you know, you're like, oh damn, bro, you mic'd up. So we don't we pay a little bit of attention to it early on, like once we noticed it. But then after that, is it's just practice, is practice. All right, we got any other questions for Jay? All right, we'll end it there then. Thanks for your time, Jay. Hi, right, then it was nice talking to you guys. Y'all have a good one.